Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here's how to create a simple stop motion animation. I'm starting in Lightroom with a series of images where I've moved each of the elements in small increments between each exposure. I've also cropped the images to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I'll select Edit and then select All and then Photo, Edit In, and Open as Layers in Photoshop. Now, for the sake of time, I've already done that, and in the Layers panel, we can see all 50 layers. I'll choose Window, and then Timeline. Make sure that I'm creating a frame animation, and click the button to create it. Then, I'll select all of my layers, and use the Flyout menu in order to make frames from layers. But I know they come in reversed, so I'll be sure to select all of the frames, and then reverse them. Now, depending on the animation, you might want to change the delay or the time of each frame. In order to keep the animation looping continuously, I've selected forever for the number of times to play. I'll return to the beginning of the animation and then click play in order to preview it. Excellent. Now, there are a number of different ways to export the animation depending on its destination. If I wanted to save this as an animated GIF, I would choose File, Export, and then Save for Web. But with these settings, the file is going to be quite large. So to decrease the size, we could limit the number of colors, but I would prefer to reduce the image dimensions. So I'll enter in 25%. Then we can click to preview in the window. All right, if I need to create a video, I can choose File, Export, and then Render to Video. I can choose a format, select any of the different presets, or customize any of the settings as needed. Finally, to save the document with the timeline information, I choose File and then Save As.